Hey, hey, everybody, it's Dave the Turnip here, and welcome to my new show, which I am calling Five Credits to Midnight. Catchy title, huh? Well, for episode one, I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Moon Patrol. It's a game that has kind of a personal connection to me. Uh, there are a few reasons for that, which I will go into. Um, number one, it was made in 1982 by Iram. That was the year I was born, so there's that kind of connection, even though I only found that out when doing a bit of research into the game for this episode. Wikipedia for the win. Okay, but no, what really um, makes this game a part of my childhood was I grew up uh, in Washington State, uh, over in the United States of America, and uh, there used to be this uh, abandoned uh, military base named Fort Casey on Whidbey Island, which is off the coast of Washington, and you had to um, you would have to get there via ferry. And on the ferry, there was one arcade game I remember more than any others, and that was, of course, Moon Patrol. Hey, as a kid, four or five years old, you see this game, you go, oh my god, you're a buggy, and you can shoot up and forward at the same time. It just blows your mind. Ever since then, I've played it when I found it, and when I finally got my MAME collection here, I spent quite a bit of time on it, and the game is quite more difficult than I had originally remembered it. Of course, you know, when you're a kid, you have the better reflexes and more time to spend on such games, but, uh, yeah, I mean, this is only the beginner course. There are two courses in the game, uh, taking you from A to Z, and once you complete it, the game starts over at the advanced course, and even getting to the advanced course is quite the feat, I must tell you. Um, as this video will show you, there are quite a few areas where I have many, many problems with. So, um, hopefully there will be some humorous things as this goes on, <laughs> as I crash into the rock there. But other than that, um, there wasn't actually much information out there on the web about this game. I mean, I guess it is a pretty cut and dry game. It's kind of like part racing, part shooter. Uh, but an interesting side note is that this game was the first game to popularize the technique known as parallax scrolling. Now, what is parallax scrolling, you may ask? Well, it's a big fancy term for the idea that the background and the foreground will move at different speeds to create this uh, illusion of depth or this 3D effect as you'll see now with the cities in the background. Uh, they're moving at one speed, the foreground's moving at another, and then the mountains in the background are moving much more slowly to give you that effect that you are traveling and those objects in the distance are much further away. So, you know, <laughs> for 1982, that was top stuff, let me tell you that. Okay, well... <clears throat> Oh yes, this bit. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep dying on this bit quite a long time. Um, <laughs> this was the bane of my existence during my playthrough. <laughs> I just couldn't clear that rock, or if I did clear the rock, then I would um, bite it on the canyon or the crater, whatever you want to call them, up ahead. <laughs> so you know what I'm gonna do? as I insert one more credit. Um, I am going to fast forward this section and we'll continue from there. Five minutes later. Hooray, I finally completed it. So yeah, at the end of each uh, letter section, like the I think it's five or six letters. I actually haven't taken the time to count them at all. But uh, you get extra points for beating the developer time. Uh, obviously, <laughs> I came nowhere near with all those continues and deaths and everything, but I do a little bit on this section, even with all the mines everywhere. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> one thing that came to mind when I was playing this is the jumping sound effect me, it sounds like um, one of those guys, you know, he's made a big diss at you and he's like, oh, I just slept with your mother, ooh, yeah, you'll hear that every time I jump now, won't you? Well, there 
I do love. I love how the wheels follow the um, the wiggles of the terrain. Obviously, I'm saying that now as I'm going uphill, so it doesn't apply. That's how these things work, after all. Ah, here we go. Yeah, I just think that's a really neat little feature. So one neat thing is that even this late in the chorus, they keep throwing new things at you. I mean, we had the uh, balls rolling down the hill earlier, and now that we're on the final stretch, um, we have tanks. <laughs> we're at U and we're about to hit V. I guess around this area you need to watch out for UV rays. A, A, ha, ha. Okay, back to the game. Okay, so that was the first episode of Five Credits to Midnight. Um, I'll hopefully be back next week with another one. Uh, as the episodes go, I'll get a better sense of what I'm actually doing here, and it should be more entertaining, but I hope you liked it. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments. I, if you have a game you'd like me to play, uh, just suggest it in the comments there, and um, I will see you next time. I'll see you next time. See you later, everyone.